then, with the benefit of these tax reforms, we will act to restore stability to our schools and hospitals. Proposals were put before this House by the previous government to cut funding to Alberta's elementary, secondary and post-secondary school systems, even though education is the single most important investment our province can make in the welfare of our children and the success of our future economy. In this budget, we confirm we are restoring funding to the education and advanced education budgets that were cut by the former government. This reinvestment means a great deal to the education system at every level. It means that school boards right across this province do not have to make significant cuts to services this year, next year, or the one after that. It means that the new students who showed up for class this fall have teachers in their classrooms. And it means that university and college students are, are able to resume their studies, benefiting from a two-year tuition freeze, a big relief from the planned increases that would have made post-secondary education even harder for ordinary families to afford. Mr. Speaker, last March, proposals were also put before this House to deeply cut Alberta's health care system. These cuts were proposed without any plan to implement them. They were simply targets. In truth, a formula for chaos and the layoff of thousands of health care workers. In this budget, we are restoring health funding. So we won't have chaos in our health care system. And we won't be losing thousands of frontline health care providers. And instead, we will continue to build a universal public health care system that is one of this country's rights of citizenship and one of this country's great contributions to the world.